Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China Sea pirate, better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. 47, our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. Yeah, man. 
Where are we heading today? I cannot believe Dawood Rangan donated that TV to the people of the plum. And to hear that serpent Bani Shah talking about how he does nothing for us. It's me. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Sarkar's barbershop is open again. He is an excellent source of information, and I want to make sure he understands who he's working for now. This is a restricted Send area. Me at once when the you show cannot is over. just waltz in here that like you own the place. Any idea why the boss wants to know when we the don't like trouble is here. open again? Yeah. Sarkar? Hey, what's the problem? This guy's off limits. Get him. Ah, uh -huh, hey, I'm gonna deal with it. Yeah, that Pattu thought better of it and took off. Aha, everything is clear. If he comes back, I'll have a little man-to-man -man with him. <laughs> oh, you bet. Dige, dige. Saga, the barber, has a side business dealing in information. He basically has every snitch in the slums sharing the news with him. Boss wants him on our side. Barbie even came down to the hideout to be shown a picture of the boss so he'd recognize him when meeting him. Yeah, all the secrecy is so strange. You know the boss. This barber is tangled up in some shady business, 47. But even more interesting, he may have seen a picture of the Maelstrom in the hideout of the street gang known as the Crows. That picture would be very helpful to our cause. He says having a secret identity is key to what he does. I honestly don't understand what he means. The guy's a bit of a mystery to me. Has anyone seen Bhavin Sagar? I have a job interview today and I desperately need him to shave me. Sir, I'm afraid you don't have the right clearance. Sorry.
Literally about to shit himself when we brought him down here. Boss had insisted on blindfolding him. I think he must have thought we were going to kill him or something. He was so nervous. Done, jackass. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. time you're asking me this question what's wrong with you nothing's wrong with me okay i just want to make sure i don't mess up in the but do i know you i think this guy's up to something don't fucking move
photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the Barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. You could also investigate the barber shop and see what is going on there. Hold on. Have I seen you before somewhere? See what the hell that was. Apun Samja. I, I, I didn't think I would ever smell anything that bad again. 47? That man there. He resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. It looks like him, but that's not the Maelstrom. I can't even make it back to the hotel. And Rongan is still waiting for me over by the tower. Somewhere, sir. You need a taxi? No, that wasn't him. What are you doing? You need to open the shop. Hey, you, please stop. What are you doing? You need to open the shop. There are people waiting outside already. I, I, I can't remember what he looks like. The guy the crows wanted me to provide information to, you know, their boss. They showed me his picture in their hideout two days ago. But I was so stressed out. I thought they were going to kill me or something. I, I can't remember his face. What if he shows up and, and, I, and I miss him? Look, then you should go and explain it to them. They probably still have the picture there. What if they hurt me? What will happen to you? Or if they decide to burn down the shop like they did with that other guy with the metal recycling, I won't do it. Pave, I told you we would get into trouble with this snitching business. But you had to go and earn some easy money sharing information with the gangs. This is your mess. You fix it.
like the look of you. All right, 47. You're open for business. We know what the Maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience and shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. Finally, you have no idea how important this shape is to me. That is not the maelstrom. Hey, what are you I want a shave. I am ready for you. Oh, hero, don't mess this up, okay? Samjha kya mujhe? Shah and Rangan had a falling out? Tell me more. Vanya Shah gets stranger and stranger each day. Ever since she got that advisor of hers, Sali, she's been buying into that slum queen nonsense more and more. Anyway, she used to be quite tight with Dao Rangan, but the two really can't stand each other all of a sudden. Any idea why? Not really. That's what I'm hoping you'll find out. Who knows? Maybe they'll eventually knock each other off. And the crows can seize full control of the city. <laughs> Would be great, huh? At least it's the devil, you know. We're done. Mas kam kiare. You did well. The boss will be happy to hear that. Shame, not the maelstrom. Shame, not the maelstrom. 47, that man by the counter, that's the maelstrom. Well, looks like our patience paid off. How about you invite him in for a close shave? Come on in, sir. Thank you, my friend. I'm ready for my shave. Make it a close one. The tides are changing, my friend. Can you feel it in the air? My bones are creaking with joy at the prospect of what is about to happen. I don't feel anything, I'm afraid. You will. 
old friend. You have an important task ahead of you, have you not? I sense that about you. Together, we will all release the shackles that have bound us far too long and rise up against those who seek to keep us down. <laughs> The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Hi there, friend. interested in cloth wares? The finest colors and fabrics anywhere. You there, sir, please. One moment. You look like a... Mark my words. Wish me luck, eh? Did you have any luck? No, that tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? That's what happens when you drown all the others, I guess. <sighs> oh, Vikram. What it appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. She's sent after a local tailor, but for some reason the man refuses to cooperate. A man of your impeccable taste should be able to fill in perfectly for the tailor. What are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. Not to be rude, but this is getting a little too cozy for my personal taste. This is Vikram. I'm calling to let you know that I'll be going on an extended vacation. You should direct all business inquiries to my assistant. I'm not sure. A few weeks? Maybe a couple of months? It, uh... Depends on a few things, but everything is fine. You will still get everything as planned. All right, thank you. Just call the usual phone number and they will help you with your business. Cha, Pera. Goodbye. Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Pretty good. You there, tailor guy. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. So, he's just hiding in there now? Yeah. Shah sent someone over to talk to him, but he refused to come down. Huh. Seems rather silly. It's a big opportunity for him. Sure, Vanya Shah is a little scary. Another one of Vanya Shah's servants just came by to try to convince them to come over.
Greetings, sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Cheap, durable cloth in many special colors? How much are these? Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one, though. Hey! Need a new shirt for the office? We got the best cotton fabric in Mumbai. It's you. Did you bring the cloth for Miss Shah? Hello. Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. You want to get through here? I'll need to frisk you first. Stand still, and it'll be over soon. Right then, off you go. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. Hello there. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. I know she can be... well... Demand. Just go through there. The queen is waiting for you in the garden. I'm sure she'll help you. I feel perhaps that is not the wisest decision to make when in a financial situation such as yours. Of course, eventually that you'll have is to Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Why did the child live so long? Well, that is the problem. Little Raji is not well. Five years, Mr. Hussein. Five, five years, my queen? Yes. Five additional years of servitude to your queen, for you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning knots. That is my offer, Mr. Hussein. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution up to you. Privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain one of the other tables left theirs behind. You 
can use that. What's the holdup? Get on with it. Well, what are you waiting for? Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. You've probably heard about the other dealers. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this in. I was getting ready to dispose of another dead body. I just heard the queen and someone killed the other day. Oh, can you believe it? You behave like okay. Or something. Make my... What's up? Bogarting me right now.
Warning, buddy. You leave here and you don't come back. You're not authorized to enter, sir. Oh, 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 guard, I need to talk to you. I can't wait to see the results. It's a lot lighter than the first one he did. What was it called? Kings of the Sea? You know, he based that one on a true story. His experiences as a South China sea pilot. Acha, I assumed that was Rangan boasting. Was he really part of the Maelstrom's crew? He was. Him and Banya Shah, you know, the club members. Apparently, that first meeting was with none other than the Maelstrom. Go ahead, let's go. All right. Is the fan good to go? I know they're still trying to find the right lines for the shoot, but in case they do, we need to be ready with the tech. You bet. I had to hack the controls to reduce the power output of the machine. I don't know where Ranga got this thing from, but it's powerful enough to blow the entire set from the roof. Yeah, we don't need any accidents on this final shoot. Keep that gun holstered, sir. Has anyone seen Gregory I mean, Hunter I'm a recently? Dance. Just one scene to go Hello, all the way sir. down. Looks like the fan has been set up again. Do you know why they haven't shot it yet? Karishma threw the last copy of the script into the elevator shaft. She doesn't want to do the scene with Rangan. He still wants to do the kiss? Oh, are the nerve of this guy? Chutia. He's a creep, and Karishma isn't having it. The production of Mumbai Hero is coming to a close, but it seems there's a spot of trouble.
Lead actress Charisma Hassan has refused to do a kissing scene with Rangan and has got rid of the script by tossing it down an elevator shaft. Shame. The scene features the use of a large industrial wind machine. Could be worth investigating. I think she's crazy to pull something like that. But it seems to be working. Let's hope nobody finds this with them. Rangan does the best. Darwood Rangan has leased an industrial strength fan, normally used for clearing smoke from construction tunnels. That's a beast of a machine, 47. The crew have put some sort of limiter on the fan output, but maybe you could make a few changes. Check out what that was. Oh, yeah, I get it. Are you serious? This is like the best. Hey, uh, oh. get out of the way. Get out of here now. Ah, Tika got it. I have to make it out of here. Nothing at my position. hell are you all doing down there? This is the final day of shooting, and you look like you're all on coffee break! Come, Zero Cholo, get moving! Hurry, I cannot believe I have to tell you this again. We are spending millions of rupees every day on this movie, and it 
It's all going up in flames. Fucked up as I am. The script is missing. Gregory Arthur is missing. I mean, is anything in order here? I want results, people. Now! You there? Why you just I found this. But the script? You found it. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Listen, the scene needs the fan to be running. Run over and man it, will you? Right before the scene starts, I'll signal to you to turn it on. Just make sure the safety is on and you don't go above the indicated power. I'll round up everyone. You got it. Good work, 47. Darwood is hurrying down now to act out the final scene with Hassan. Let's make sure he doesn't Great run out news, of everyone. wind. We have found the script. Get to your places. We are ready to shoot. All right, everybody. Mr. Rangan is on his way. We just need to get this one scene in the can, and then that is a wrap. Karishma, is that last line that you kept missing? I'm yours forever, now kiss me, hero. Hmm. Right, right. So, um, what is my motivation? But like, why kiss him? He is a foul fighter. You love him. It is a pure, intimate love that has bloomed over the course of the weeks that you spent in captivity. The evil witch queen had clouded your mind all of those years, but after he let you free, you realized that he is your true love. Your hero. I don't know. It sounds kind of unrealistic to me. I mean, sure, he saved me and everything, and, and I understand why I would be grateful. But a kiss? Maybe just a firm handshake? Or a hug, even? Oh, you're full of love, Karishma. Mumbai has been rescued, set free. The pirate is not the evil person portrayed by the Witch Queen. Her attempts to kill him through the use of the assassin have failed. This is the beginning of your future together. I think it's a beautiful moment. All right, people. Time to get the show on the road. I'm here. My lips are ready for the final, most important shot of the film. Karisma, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. OK. Let's get this show on the road. Start the fan.
According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where father trained us, shaped us into killers for providence. Now, you don't remember, they ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. 